Tottenham is just in action soon today and we're having a look, we're having a tour around it. Uh, we've just played Asad in the mall inside so we've recorded this video a little bit later. Uh, but we've had a tour from the area of the masjid as well and the compound because the madrasa here as well. They've got Tori facilities, they've got Janaza facilities, they've got their own um, funeral services where they take the body. Um, so we're just having a quick like tour of this masjid because uh, I've seen it um, on social media in a few places and it's been you know informed by a lot of people that you know I need to come and check this masjid out. So we've had, we're having a tour of the masjid. Uh, what we'll do is we'll head inside to the main, uh, you know, down ground, ground floor hall first and have a look. Let's go. We're just going to look at the architect a little bit and then we'll come inside as well. They've got benches in place there. People are sat down talking. Yes, sir. Entrance two. This is entrance two. And uh, as you walk in, one of the first things uh, that we notice is the holders here for your uh, brollies. But every one of these holders I've seen in the studio has got the shoe guards, so you can take shoes off and on easily as well. So you know, there's a lot of uh, elders that might struggle with this kind of uh, you know, um, stuff where you know they have difficulty putting their shoes on and off. Uh, but they've got that prepared for everyone as well. They've got clear signage of where to go. Their shoe racks, normally you see wood, but then with the weight of the shoes, a lot of places they tend to achieve your time. These are the marble. Everything's well looked after. So we'll take our shoes and I'll pop them on there. We've got plenty of shoe racks, so plenty of space there. And this, this is just one of the areas. This one entrance out of, out of quite a few. Um, the They've got tile flooring all the way through. They've got wow. tile staircases. So if you follow along on this side, you won't disturb us with some of But this is the bottom hall, the lower hall. We'll show you the upper hall later on. Uh, what we'll do is quickly have a look at the Gusel area as well. In, in, in there. That's the lobby area, that's the second entrance. So the lobby area, we can actually get there as well in a different way, which we'll show you. But this is for the area washroom and the but before, as soon as we come into the washroom, first thing we see is this beautiful bench. This beautiful bench, so here, you know, if you want to take your shoes off, take your socks off, that's start out. Um, again, a deep end, that's quite important for instance. All the pathways are angled towards the drainage, so they've got like a slight decline to them. Oh, all the way, that goes all the way around, doesn't like that. Around, and that's for every drainage system. Uh, so you've got all that, you've got your you know, Dyson hand dryers as well. And the hand dryers, they've got plenty of them, so if somebody wants to go and dry their hands, they've got plenty, they don't have to wait for anybody and else. Follow here inside. Uh, they've got the wash facilities as well, so I'll put some chapla on. I'll, uh, for my beautiful cameraman, my uncle, I'll get some chapla for you as well. We'll uh, put this on. And again, we'll just take one example of the south there. Um, Most of the toilets are identical, more or less, so we'll just show you one. Everything's clean, perfect. You know, they've got the um, hose, I don't know what you call Douche, it. Douches. Douches, yeah, that's it. For Stanja. You've got the drainage in the middle again. And one thing I noticed with these douches as well is uh, whoever's done it, they've thought it out because there's not too much pressure coming in. Um, a lot of mushrooms when they do it, they don't think through like stuff like that, so there's too much pressure coming through them. And even the toilets, the good sized toilets, I'm not going to look into that too deep. But, um, <laughs> well, if anybody doesn't know, my uncle is a professional, uh, well, a career professional in the DIY industry, so bathrooms. Uh, stuff like that as plumbing so they, they obviously got an eye for detail when it comes and to even that even, even with this mission uh, what they've done again toilets and stuff they thought out in terms of size so they've gone for one of the best toilets in my opinion it's the ideal standard one and uh, it's not just good because it's just a big name or anything like that but because of the quality of the porcelain as well and also the uh, uh, size of the toilet as well so sometimes you get bigger people as well and you a lot of mustard say oh we need a bigger toilet but they're not ready to spend the money with this masjid. It's everything. not everything. They're not. They're not just spend the money because they've just spent the money. They've thought yeah, about yeah. every single detail. Jira banda chalsi unawa se koi problem ni oni. Matlab thing is, jira cost hai hasn't gone against quality. Everything has gone perfect for these boys. It's used for the purpose. Even these taps, for example, I'm just gonna 
show you here. So they've got dispensers there. So somebody could just use that and sense it. So it stays on for a little bit and the water gets saved. And it's not one of those tap, on, tap ones where you just tap on from the top and they turn off because they tend to go faulty. So again, it's something that they've thought about where they don't have to keep spending money again and again every single month, every single year. And they've gone for the best of the best again. So they've gone for the grow taps there. Follow all these way. This is the main topic. Um, one of the things that I was actually told, um, the mustard just to keep this place running. Uh, it's got a 25,000 pound monthly upkeep, uh, which is amazing and a pound that's all private funded as well. Um, 25,000 pounds a week? A week. Wow, amazing. A week or a month, I'm not sure, but it's a lot, either way, either way, regardless, either way. it's a lot of it's money. It's a lot of money, yes. Uh, and the other good thing about the entrance area here again um, shoe racks they've got plenty of shoe space again like they did on the other side and also what they've got is seats uh, again on this side and that side you can see the sitting area so people want to sit down and put the shoes on uh, again it's something that they've thought out because a lot of machines again is something that they missed out on yeah we'll just have a look at the outside uh, here main thing as well beauty because you got to remember every living thing does zikr of allah every living thing both they will have it it's looked after and you, you just can't go wrong, can you? Amazing. It's perfect entranceway as well. You know, Ooh, Raza Jamia Masjid. And uh, yeah, you've got it there, Raza Jamia Masjid. Which is I'm just going to look up, look, at, back the inside, look at the arch of the windows. They've got the arches everywhere. All the way around. Go back inside now. And like I was saying, everywhere as well. So. Outside the Accrington Merchants, um, uh, it's just outside the car park area. Really, they've got the um, burial services at the back here. Um, the transportation they have, and then if you go inside, I'll just briefly show you what they've got inside. They've got good system in place, actually. Lut, can you just? Uh, so this is the uh, janazah, well, uh, well not the area but where they get the body ready for uh, obviously washing um, and where they're going to prepare the body and stuff like that so behind here you can see that this is a secluded area there's no actual other way in um, you've got family sitting area so it's that kind of you know privacy and respect that people get so they've got that here for everyone so all your family members can be here and if you follow too you can have a look in the wash, wash area as well inside here first thing you notice is this is contraption uh, this is actually the um, coffin lift so this actually goes into the janaza prayer hall uh, so once they've washed the body you can take it straight up and ready for the uh, prayers on the side of the lifting equipment as well and uh, one thing that a lot of masters don't have or they not not prepared for is um, they've actually got a cold room as well where they can store up to three bodies um, so much like you know everything is taught through well here but the main area in this kind of area is the where they give the gusal if you have a quick look in there everything is prepared properly so you've got the wash station you've got all the cleaning equipment there as well it's uh, very well thought out and especially for our local community and a lot of our smaller masters in our area um, I think it's, it's a good learning point is to look at something like this 
and uh, one thing you say they've done a fantastic job what do you think Uncle? they've made everything really easy for everybody so even when the uh, coffin comes inside the coffin comes into the masjid they've got the trolleys in place the trolleys will pick you up and they'll take him to every location so they'll take it to the wash area as well the gusal area as well and if somebody wants to overnight keep the body they've obviously got the freezers as Lutz just explained so three freezers they are, they've got there they could have fit more but they left it to three freezers so that was enough for them and then like um, Lutz explained the lift goes straight up they don't need to mess about in terms of picking the body up and taking it to a different location and bringing it back so everything is just done from here so they just take it straight up once they've done the janazah they bring it straight down and then what they do is straight outside and straight into the uh, uh, transportation which is just outside as well there's a hearse out here which again they do the service pretty much everything is done free as well by the masjid um, and only small costs i think probably that they they have that's all uh but apart from that you, you can't go wrong with the service like this can you and that side is there where they do the community center and janaz as well so the janazah would be obviously in that area so the lift was facing towards that side so roughly in that area there and we will continue this video yeah we'll go in the other side and we'll join we'll join back up in there and have a look now we've just come into this puri area here they've made uh, so if somebody's passed away they've got uh, sitting for men and ladies as well and also they've got an area for um, you know for khatam or st stuff like that if somebody wants to come and do khatam so we'll show you around quickly as well what if you just explain everything if you follow us for example, one of the first things is people are sitting in the Matam or anything like that, and you've got Puri. They've got separate spaces for sitting as well. So, this is the men's section, uh, which obviously the women's section is just an identical replica of this on a separate side, opposite on the other end of the building. Uh, but you can think about it, you've got the elders, you've got the chairs, you've got comfort, you've got the mats, you've got water facilities for the, you know, guests that visit, and much less, you know, open space, it's clean. Um, and it also doesn't disturb the main prayer hall or the, you know the children's um, where they study and you know learn as well. And I think that's one thing that a lot of our smaller masters, especially in Dewsbury, where we're from, um, we don't get this kind of planning. We don't see it a lot, and it's beautiful you know to come and visit here and you know see that the level and detail that's gone into the thought process of making this for you know a comfortable uh, place and a beautiful place as well. So we'll follow through as well, just you know, the kitchen area and the eating. So you know, uh, we'll go into the men's eating area, and you can see so it's a slightly smaller hall. Uh, but one thing you notice is they've got like a worktop here, so if elderly again, anybody with disabilities, anything like that, they can come here, uh, and around now they can eat as well. Um, the kitchen's just behind there, so you've got a serving counter as well behind there. Um, so again, it's. Uh, it separates it from the puri area as well. So you don't, you don't, you're not keep causing a mess anywhere then really. So we'll follow out of here and we'll have a quick look at the kitchen. And further down there obviously is like Lutz explained, it's the ladies, ladies same thing in puri area and eating area as well. And again like an industrial kind of scale size kitchen they've got in here. Um, everything's stainless steel, it's clean, there's no mess and if you look at it everything's vented properly. It's for a large commercial building, you know, something that's going to be used by a lot of people, you can, you know, it's, you wouldn't expect like less than what you see in a restaurant, I'd say. And it's to that kind of standard, everything's properly done, everything's properly thought out. And you know, you know all you can say is martial arts. I think it's thought out better than most of restaurants. It's thought <laughs> so. properly done, isn't it? But um, yeah, we, this is the same area, obviously. We won't show you the ladies' area, uh, but what we will show is even the. Um, so that's the serving area for the ladies? And, and that's there. the serving area for the gents. And they've got the restrooms as well, so we'll quickly show you that. Because um, brother over here, he's part of the head of security, I think. Uh, yeah, security officer here. Yeah. Mm, Mashallah. he's showing us around today, so he's explaining to us what's what as well. So, me and Luther are not experts, but uh, we don't know much, so but uh, Alhamdulillah, is brother's showing us around. Uh, I just let you know that our mosque is open 24 hours. So, uh, this, this first message is there in the UK. Not so locked during night as well? Yeah. Just so stays open. Yeah, and anytime people can come, pray the mass. Pray the mass. There's no problem. These are the people that are yeah. basically. Um, the other thing we want to show you as well um, is. 
There's a lift for both men. So it's, this is a men's section, so they got the mid lift lift for the men's section here. And what we see on this side is also the same for the ladies as well. So Jira could the men's kilobra on the same side you on the ladies. So there's no fark either. And the other thing is the main thing, we've got a dance restroom room and a lot of mustards don't do this, but we've got a separate disabled washroom area as well, which is very important for the elders because it can be quite hard. So we'll have a quick look inside as well. But you've got everything, we'll show you the main... It's, it's got the sensor lighting sensor uh, in most of the areas to be fair. So when you're walking in, lights are coming on, going off by themselves. And you've got everything in the area, so you've got Dyson, hand dryers, you've got the industrial mm -hmm. facilities. Everything's been really thought out really, look. Um, so yeah, um, the yeah, toilet area, yeah, the woods where we, Look at the level of um, quality that they've gone into of the uh, architect. They've got sensor taps. They've not just gone for standard. And obviously, I'm in this trade, so I've looked at the stuff in quite detail. Um, I'm in the bathroom trade myself. So they've gone for, many people must have heard of Groy. They've gone for Groy, uh, ideal standards. So they've not just thought, let's just go for something cheap. and let, Let's make it look nice. And it's all been looked after as well, that's the main thing. Yeah, Even things like this, what they've thought out as well, it's just a uh, court hooks. But you can just put it up when they're not in use. And when you want to use them, just put it down and use it. Now we're on the upstairs hall. Uh, Lut, can you just explain what yeah, they use uh, this for? So this area is in the community centre of the Masjid again, so this is the upper hall. And again, it's uh, used for like hatams, madrasas, as well as gatherings. Um, so it's an open space and again, they've got mats there for people to use again, so you don't have to sit on the floor, you know, there's comfort as well for all people. And brothers tell as well that they can put chairs out as well if they need to. So they've got everything thought of very, very detailed and planned. This is just above the Puri area. So, you know, we were just explaining about the Puri area. This is just above there. So they had kitchens down there. They've also got a kitchen up here as well. So if they ever need to, they can use this area as well. So as you guys have seen, uh, when I was talking about the um, washing station downstairs for the Janaza preparation, um, if you just have a quick look below here, you saw that lift earlier. So that lift then comes upstairs and then they've got the facilities here, they've got the um, trolley okay. there and they can take that into the Janaza hall. So everything is Painless, and I think in the sense that it's a smooth process. So Made easy for everybody. Even better, anything, there's no trouble. But they get quite difficult new in the journey when they come here. And that's the beauty of it. We could just bring it straight out here. And yeah. the better the store room. And, the, and that would be the Janaza area. Yeah. And everywhere you go, you know, you have found out that's quite beautiful about this matter. It's everywhere they've got the calligraphy engraved. And as well as having everything written in Arabic, Everything is written in English and Nanit as well. So, you know, a lot of us in the youngster, uh, English is obviously that's our first language now. Uh, so, it's important as well that they, you know, they can read and learn. So, we're in the upper hall of the masjid here. Uh, so, the capacity is about 1500 people here in the main hall. And again, it's beautiful, it's massive, you've got the chairs, it's thought out well again. And when we were talking about the Janazah, you're going to follow over as well. Uh, and this is where they keep the body of the time for the Janazah. So, we've got one way in and one way out as well. And uh, you know, you've got the rest of the area here. Again, it's very detailed, very thought out. So, again, a lot of us just don't have this kind of prepared facility. So, they come in from that side, people can come see the body and then go straight out from that side. So, nobody comes in each other's way as well. And if you just show, uh, explain about the hall a little bit. So the hall as well, um, we look at the chandelier. Um, so this is where the gumbad is as well, the door. Um, I believe they were saying that this cost them just about 500,000 pounds with the dome included. But it's got automatic like filtration system, so when it's humidity and it's hot, the mustard you know, get stuffy, it all opens up as well. Um, so it's thought out properly. Uh, and then you've got the mirror as well behind here. So all this is gold plated. It's all 24 karat gold on here. In, in, there. in, in all these 
uh, stars that we've got here. So I'm guessing um, we'll use this normally for Jummah and stuff like that. Um, what can you say? It's just, it's just immaculate, isn't it? Look at the detail. Detail is absolutely on point. Wow. Uh, we'll have a picnic the down there, I believe. They were saying they've got um, a boardroom. So meetings up the boardroom. Today. Even this calligraphy here, is that is that gold plated board as well? Yeah. So, how? Um, Inside a special room here, um, it's a library inside the masjid, and again, it's full with books. So, your ilm here, your knowledge you know, there's room of knowledge. Yeah, that's it, a room of knowledge. But look at the design. Um, Let's again, go quickly look it's, around. A, it's a great study space, and you've got all the books here that you need. You've got educational books as well, you've got the Quran, for all your spari. And the main thing as well is that you don't have to, uh, you know, be on the floor and be uncomfortable or anything like that. You know, for your comfort as well, everything is sorted out. Bring in your here, so you've got a reading area, so you know, you can take your books and you can sit down, you can read here. Um, what do you think, Uncle? I think it's amazing, everything, everything it's in the house, really, really well, isn't it? And it's just, you know, the way the bookshelves are as well, and the, the detail that they've gone in. And I think they've got AC as well, up, up there as well, so again, the rooms are going to be, you know, um, comfortable to sit and read in. And, and the brother again, mashallah, is here, he's explaining every single thing to us, so we don't we don't really know anything, so brothers explain every single detail to us. Detail to us. This library is 24-7, Kulijun, yeah? Uh, yes, uh, this library is open 24-7, and got come to read the books anytime. Anytime. So, so even in the middle of night, you think, you know what, I'm getting bored at home. You can just come in here and uh, read whatever you want to read and uh, gain some knowledge. That's what Islam is all about, gaining knowledge. Yeah, actually, on the coffee, Bandai, for example. Yes, on the end of Bandai, get the knowledge. Sometimes people will get the bored at home. They come in the house and then... Read Ilm Hasul Kaligin. 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 Again, this is all not only for the Muslims that come here. If anybody wants to come here that's a non-Muslim, they come here, they're going to look at this stuff and they're going to read it. And maybe, inshallah, they might have something that they might read and think, you know, wow, why not? Why not look into this religion? Again, I'm just looking at the view of yeah, everything as well, and uh, like just look at the way the windows have designed as well, the arch uh, oh, on the window, the arch of them windows as well. Um, and again, if you just look in here, look at up on the ceilings as well. Every single area is made like that with ambient lighting everywhere as well. You know what? This is actually quite nice. You know, we'll look at this. We come over closer a bit. Actually, quite like it. The lighting. Uh, you know what we say on there? Oh, I can't read it. The mosques of Allah are to be maintained only by those who believe in Allah on the last day, who establish prayer and give zakah, and fear only Allah. They can expect to be from those who are guided. Basically, look after your masjids and, you know, the way we spend our money and how we look after them is very important, I think. And you know what? Rightfully spending. I think that's what this masjid has done very well. People know that their money that they've given to the masjid or you know, everyone that's you know, invested in it, they know everything's been done properly and they can see where that's gone. Sometimes you can't see it, unfortunately, and people give to their you know, masjid and they're not done as well. Um, and you sometimes have questions or doubts, but from this masjid, all I can say is, is 
you know that every penny has been spent on making sure this mustard is up to standard for the modern era and especially for the youngsters as well that come here it can match anything and i think this is something that's probably not just made for now it's made for the future as well future and it's not just on a local level it's good this is probably going to match up to like international standards i'd say definitely and just to explain about outside of where the uh, lobby is leading into the main prayer hall upstairs which we have i think shown uh, That's it. this is without the lights on it still looks amazing and that's with lights on one of the main things of the Mustard Valley is they run them themselves, so they've got their own separate classroom facilities as well. So if you follow through, we'll go inside and have a look. We'll go into uh, one of the classrooms, so we'll go into classroom number one. We'll come inside. And again, for the youngsters, when they're reading as well and learning, um, you've got the white love facilities, you've got the benches, you've got, um, you know, for these stars, you've got the, you know, the seating area as well. Um, main thing here as well, they've got timetables, timetables with Tenet, uh, which a lot of us just get away sometimes you see yeah. They make their own timetables or whatever they do, but here they've got it done properly done I've got monitors, we'll give any if you need to check your laptop or anything like that as well The lighting will stop saying yeah Again, this is just a classroom, but again, when, classroom. when you say just a classroom Look at the design So if classroom was there, detail, you know. And if you just turn one of them light switches off now, yeah? So you've got the ambient no, light as light well light. And if you turn the ambient lighting off and turn the other ones on, you have spotlights as well. So everything is done properly. Amazing. We're just in the downstairs hall here. Yeah, the mirab has been lit up there. Look at that, looks good. The, the lighting, the ambient lighting for us basically. Uh, again, they've got the microphones connected up here, the sound system. It's. Uh, it's just superb. Wow. Even Luth, I think, is lost for words now. He's been going around and uh, look at the architect again, architecture of this. This is where the Imam Sahib will probably give his khutbah from as well. They've got one of these, but they've got a proper one upstairs as well. Um, just gonna quickly I'm just going to quickly just look around the uh, hall. I, I don't think you can fault this building at all, uh, the mustard. What do you think? I think the money's been well spent, you know, when people sometimes say, why has some, such and such mistress spent so much money? And um, you know what, everything's been thought out, you know, even Gusal area, the uh, burial area, Namaz area, every single thing's been thought out. I think one of the things, the main thing is that, is that if I go to some mistress, I just think and I look, look at the state of it sometimes, and we come here and, we, you know, we want to come. I want to send more people to places like this because we feel inspired. We like it that our masters are well kept, well maintained. Uh, you know, when we you know when we go to you know people go to Umrah or they go to Hajj for example and they visit uh, you know Makkah, Medina, and you look at the beauty that's given because there's the houses of Allah. You've got to remember that. And if it's not done to the right standards, you know what are we doing? Because we want to spend that money wisely and we want to spend it in the right way so that people keep coming here. It's showing an image about us as well. Showing an image about Muslims and about how we value our deen, our religion and I think that's what the beauty of this masjid is and, and that's what's left me in awe really of, of even even masjid. with our deen it's uh, been taught to us every single little detail has to be thought out to and the uh, that's what they've done here really obviously you know um, you can say you we need this extra we need that extra nothing's gonna ever be like you can you can't have everything but for the space that they've got for everything that they've got I think they've it's ticked every well single well, boxes yeah. But even to the point that we were in the car park earlier on and you know things like they've got proper marked out grids, they've got little zebra crossings. Even though the crossing might be small, but because it's done into standards and that's what the main thing was. Um, sure. and, is. and then we've got their office inside here, the main lesson. This is like the reception area, you can call it. Uh, you can call it security area, reception area, whatever you want to call it. So they've got cameras. They've got cameras on that side which we can't show you. Um, for and if somebody wants the radio for the, well, the radio that you can purchase and everything like that as well. Everything, yeah. So, you know, again, it's just been beautiful. And we've got a brother here, sorry. I've got an Aukiyatna, boy. My name is Manzoor Hussain. Or Mustard's Gilly, Aukiyatna. 
आई एम सिक्योरिटी ऑफिसर ही है जी सारी बातें की जो सिक्योरिटी है ना जी जी इन माय अंडर इट टेक्स चार्ज सो स्टार्ट टू थे स्टार्ट हो जाए व्हेन मस्टर्ड इज इन कंस्ट्रक्शन जी जी सो दैट हैव अ वेयर अ ब्रदर ट्रैवल्स एवरी डे फ्रॉम ब्लैकबर्न टू हैकिंगटन एवरी सिंगल डे ते मस्जिद बनाने तक तकरीबन कितना कर खर्चा होया सी जे लग बनाया सी ने ए मस्जिद बनाते होया जे तकरीबन 9 मिलियन पाउंड and the pump 2017 that's just to make it that's not to upkeep so yeah, upkeeping upkeep is some collection of 25000 a week a month a month 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 every month so 25 meaning the price of a brand new car every month <laughs> that's yeah. one way of looking that's at it anyway thank you thank you brother for all your help yeah, as well and uh, brother has showed us around and uh, doing a good job over here actually So hopefully you've uh, enjoyed this vlog today. Uh, so take care and uh, Allah Hafiz. Many more to come. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. <laughs>